Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Supergirl Season 4, Episode 21 called Red Dawn. To so start off with on Mid Veil 2007, where it's a memory from Alex, where they're at this, um, I guess they're like at this uh, corner of a lake or something, or maybe a beach. I don't know where Mid Veil's actual location is. Anyway, they're near some water and there were some rocks, and they're clapping to a song, but then um, Kara hit it too hard and she created sound from her, um, like, sound vibrations from her hands. And then Alex woke up, and then uh, she says she's starting to remember stuff, and then we have the present day, where um, security is holding Kara, and they wiped her hard drive of all the evidence that she collected in Casnia. And she made, she was trying to make her escape, but got blocked by Kryptonite. That was um, by Red Dawn. And then we have Lena, Brees, Brainy, and Alex about what happened. And we have also have Kara tries to make Red Dawn see her side, but that's a no go. And Kara managed to escape because Kara had to deal with Kryptonite for 15 years, and like Red Dawn only had to deal with it for like two, three months, or whatever. So, but she did, Red Dawn did shoot her. So John had to take out the bullet. And so, uh, Clara then vents to her, uh, t vents to John, and he wants to tell Alex, she wants to tell Alex, but that's really a no-go unless she remembers on her own. And then, um, Brainy goes to tell them about what happened. And, uh, so, Clara goes flying towards Alex, and then we have Lena gives her mom a truth seeker, and it's working. <laughs> And she, so she's going to work on how to extract the hair and nail from Ben and from, to kind of immobilize him for acting the way he's acting. And then we have Supergirl talks to Alex and says she will help her. And then we have Lena talks to Ben and tells her about Lex. He had no idea about what was happening with that. And so he, um... So she goes and tells James that he like he had no idea and that Ben is deteriorating as well. Then we have um John and Brainy are in are at this location trying to find the aliens and then Dreamer shows up and um she got something from um a keychain of the unicorn. So they go to that location. It's I think it's like one of Lex's facilities where they're been experimenting on people. On aliens, and so uh, Brainy masks himself as Ben Lockwood with Dreamer, and he got made by a dog. Uh, then we have Haley got briefed on Supergirl and Alex because she kind of just walked into the room to both of them, <laughs> and she's going. She agrees to help them, and then we uh, so they're going to be working together. Then Brainy got tortured and got KO'd. And then we have Brainy, I mean, then we have John, it's in the alien, is in, and we see that the aliens are being transferred somewhere off world, I feel like, because it was one of those um, things um, that they used, like, season three or two, where they got transferred off site by that device, I can't remember the name of it right now. And then, <clears throat> then we have Brainy, pretty much was, so he kind of reboots a little bit. It starts spewing everything about being in front of the future, time traveling, and then about his ancestors he kept dive, uh, going in and out of that. And then he got fully rebooted to uh, Brainy at 5 and went cray on everyone. And uh, so he's acting more like Brainiac and all those mm, like them. So that's not pretty. Then we cut to where Haley is um, helping Supergirl and it's about like this Claymore project that they're triangling Red Dawn's um, address, location and got an address. So Supergirl goes to the address, it's basically like Carr's apartment. Then we cut to where John is worried about Brainy. And then uh, we cut to where Ben in injected himself with more hair nail and this is Otis. And got information about everything. And then uh, he's like, well now I gotta off you now. And Ben's like, ha, ha, we'll see about that. And so they fight, and then Lena followed Ben when he um, tore out of the parking deck and overhears everything. But Ben disables Otis, and then James is um, hurting. 
So they go back to um, see Lillian. Then we cut to where Brainy um, left Dreamer so, and John too. So basically, he let the cuff off of one of Dreamer's um, holding things and then puts her back in and says, like, you have more chance of uh, sending something through the actual plane that we can rescue everybody. And then he, uh, so she just, he just leaves her there. And then he goes to disable John and like, well, because he was kind of pissed about it. So like, why did you leave her? And he's like, you're right. And disables him so he can be transferred as well. So that double the chances of doing this is, well, that doesn't work. I'll find something out. I always do. I was like, oh my God. Then we cut to some girls reading uh, Red Dawn's journal. Then Alex shows up. Then Alex is worried about Kara. Then when uh, she got a call from Liza, you know, Alex's mom, and Kara is at her house. So Supergirl goes flying over there. And then it's Red Dawn versus Supergirl. And because uh, they tried, Supergirl again tried to talk to her. That was just not happening. And so um, they go off site and they fight. And so it's Red Dawn versus Supergirl. And Supergirl got hit with purple lightning. And then we cut to where Alex sees fight and starts remembering, and she finally remembered everything. And then Kara's heartbeat stopped, and that's when Red Dawn left. And then Alex tucks her, and she finally remembers. And Liza's like trying to tell her that she might be gone. And but then we have sunlight is being is um, being pulled by Supergirl, and then um, she's going to be okay. So that was kind of crazy. And it was weird because um, when Red Daughter was up in the air, after she um, heard Car's heartbeat stopped, she heard she heard something went no and went flying off. And then uh, so then Lena gets James back into where um, Lillian is being kept, and Lillian gets um, James again as she calms down. Then the D.O. alarm goes off, and we find out that Lex has the um, Claymore in a suit and destroy the uh, Kaznian spies and off Red Dawn. And that was in the episode, because it was like a presidential announcement. And that was in the episode. <laughs> um, this was a crazy episode. I was not expecting a lot of this. So that was actually very refreshing for me. I, I, Cause you know, some shows get a little cliche, but this one, it had a lot of twists and turns and I thoroughly enjoyed that. The fight scenes were great. And it was very interesting about Brainy going to Brainy at five mode. And he's just like very nonchalant about everything. And it's like, you know, he's like, I'm right, you're wrong, bye. Like, if you don't like it, I'm gonna send you to a lot of chances or whatever. So that's pretty crazy. And so sorry for not uplo uploading last night. I was um, super tired. And I didn't get home to about 10. And I pretty much went to sleep. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's what I'm doing for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree, disagree? What, tell me what you think is going to happen next week. Because I think it's going to be really interesting next week. Because it's a season finale. And... Also, don't forget, if also you have any suggestions for any other shows, also let me know down below. It probably won't be until like 2025, but we'll get to it eventually. And I'll see y'all in my next video, and I hope y'all have a super awesome day. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.